Here's the biggest problem we see with most of the young hitters coaches. Their first move, their first move is to the ball. Okay? Meaning that when they're getting ready to hit, and a lot of this has to do with some of the, the batting machines that in the next month or so you're going to have your, your players on. From the side, and again, I don't think it's important that we put the major league hitters up, um, but you, you'll see for the most part, the hands have to go which way first if you're going to be a successful hitter. Right. We call it a back stretch. Right. So from this position out over here, the more you can get those players to bring these hands and to use the shoulders almost like a rubber band to come this way, two things are going to happen. Their shoulders are going to stretch to the point that when it's time to swing, like a rubber band, what's going to happen? You stretch a rubber band, you let the rubber band go, and you've got strength. The second part of why that back stretch is so important is that it will allow the legs, the hips, to turn first. So if I'm in my setup position and I'm back stretching, when it's time to go, right, what we should start seeing is what? Right? No different than the golf swing or what the great tennis players are going to do. They're going to start the swing by turning their hamstring, their quadriceps, the stomach, the butt, and the back at the same time. That's that turning action that you're looking for in all the good hitters. Don't use the word rotational force with, with your players. We've had coaches sometimes come back and you're telling five-year-olds, you need to be more rotational than linear. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Boy, if they can understand that, we've got a job for them over here. Turn fast. Hey, little Billy, you see your, you see your backside? Don't call it the B-U-T word. Okay, you see your backside? You, you see the front of your leg? You see your stomach in the back? Once your foot's down, see how fast you can turn those body parts. That's what you're looking to do. That's rotation on that backside. But most of your players, and this is where you're going to have to watch, is their first move negative? Is it going in this direction first? As the players get older, how many coaches do we have here that are going to be coaching 12 and 13 year olds? Well, the back stretch becomes crucial because at that age, what, what do they start seeing? They start seeing the funny pitches. And in tournament play, whoever has the best curveball wins. And the reason why the curveball is so effective at the youth level, if the first move with the hands is forward, they have no time to do what? To evaluate and see the curveball. So whether you're, whether you're working with the 5-year-olds or the 12 or 13-year-olds, their first move has to be very aggressively back. And, and understand what we're doing here. It's not a turn. right? And the best way you can look at this, stand on the pitcher's mound and watch to see the head of your hitter. And if they're back stretching this way without moving their head, you've got yourself the beginning of a good swing. But if they're getting ready to hit, and their first move, or because you've told them to bring their hands back, and they're doing this. Anybody see a problem with this? Right. Don't underestimate how important it is to see the pitch. 